Where would I go if I die? I had two close calls already. Two close calls with death. And I didn't know. I probably would have went to a bad place, that's for sure. Well, we kept biking and we biked down to the Gulf Coast of Texas and we had a house on stilts. Have you ever seen a house on stilts? Do you know why they build them on stilts? Because if the hurricanes come and there's great big waves, almost like tsunami waves, uh, the waves will go crashing underneath the house and they won't go crashing through your house. We were down on the beach at South Padre Island, Texas, and we met this guy named Manuel. Mind if I play the guitar for you? Far out, groovy. Go for it, Manuel. Manuel was telling us about his savior, Jesus. He was singing about him. He had changed his life. And he told us about how he had found peace and he sang about it at a place called the Cross of Calvary. There's a place in Jerusalem called Golgotha. It's the place of the skull. And if you go there today and you look up, you can see that skull. It's still there. Manuel was singing that God loves me. I didn't know anyone loved me. He was saying that Jesus loved me. Like we sing that song sometimes, Jesus loves me, yes I know, for the Bible tells me so. And uh, he told me, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. There's someone that you can call upon whenever you need help. And do you know who he is? His name is Jesus. Did you know that Minnesota is called the North Star State? Yeah, so I went from the Lone Star State to the North Star State, and I was back home. Well, then I had something I had to do. There was something really pressing me from Manuel and others that have gave, gave me their testimony in, in Texas and in Mexico. Uh, I had to start reading the Bible. It was January of 1974. I realized that Jesus had died for my sin and that he had made a way for heaven for me. So I bowed my knees on our living room floor. I was, I was crying. I was laughing at the same time. And I said, Lord, I've lived my life very selfishly. I've lived my life very sinfully. And Lord, I want you to come in now. And he did. And he changed me. And I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus now, a new creation. But you know, uh, um, he wants you to come to know him as well. He wants you to come to trust in him. But we're going to pray, and then I have a special treat for you as well today. You may have seen this device behind me. I'll show you what it is. Father in heaven, we thank you for everyone that's come out to the parks tonight. We thank you for all of our helpers. We thank you for all of these young people and parents and others that are with us. And Lord, we pray that even today would be the day of salvation for them. That they would trust in you as Lord and Savior and know for sure, without a shadow of a doubt, that they have the Son. And he who has the Son has the life, and he who does not have the Son does not have the life. You have told us these things that we may know that we have eternal life. And so, Lord, we pray that today even someone would come to know you as Lord and Savior. And Lord, we just ask your blessings in the rest of our time here in the park. And we thank you so much, again, for loving us and, and giving yourself for us on Calvary's cross, on Mount Calvary, Golgotha, and maybe Mount Moriah as well. And we pray in the precious name of our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.